Denis Ten, a 20-year-old figure skating star from Kazakhstan, has climbed from the ninth place after the short program to the Olympic bronze in the men's free skating in Sochi. It was Kazakhstan's first and so far the only medal at this year's Olympic Games. These Olympic Games are especially these Olympic Games are very special for me. It is a totally different level of competition than the one I felt in Vancouver. I am an established sportsman now. When skating in Sochi, I felt the responsibility, and now I am very pleased that I represented my country decently at such an important event. Denis Ten admitted that he was stunned to find himself on the Olympic podium. He didn't even wait around after skating to Shostakovich's The Lady and the Hooligan, which included a quadruple toe loop and seven clean triple jumps. I did my best not to wind myself up with contemplations about whether I had a chance to win, become third. I was satisfied with my skating and pleased that despite all the difficulties I was experiencing in this season, I managed to overcome everything and perform well in Sochi. I was greatly inspired by the support of my fellow countrymen. It is the first time that Kazakhstan has installed this beautiful national pavilion at the Olympics, and a lot of fans have arrived from Kazakhstan to the Olympic Games this year. When skating, I could feel that there was a whole country behind me. Denis Ten was the only one of the top seven to skate clean, with Yuzuru Hanyu claiming a first gold for Japan despite falling twice, ahead of three-time world champion Patrick Chan of Canada, who made three mistakes. After claiming silver at last year's Worlds, Ten had excellent chances at the Olympics, but they were undermined by a skin infection, back pain, an injured ankle, and a painful dental surgery. This victory is not mine alone, it's a victory of my whole team. These are my coaches, my country, my sponsors, and especially my family, who are also my team. Because without the contribution of my parents, I would have never become who I am. For more news, please visit www.en.tingrenews.kz.